Hey guys, welcome back to Sinclair Garage here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, where we're going to continue on the Mustang, uh, the engine kind of reassembly here. Today, uh, the goal is to get the valves adjusted and possibly get the intake on, depending on how long the valves take to adjust. Now, something that you'll probably you probably already know is when you Google how to adjust valves on one of these engines or a short block Chevy or whatever that has the adjustable valves, uh, not where you have to put a feeler gauge in. Uh, there's always a like, hundred different ways you can do it and everybody's way is always the best. But the way that I want to do it is start with cylinder one, top dead center, adjust those by you know rotating and moving the push rod. And once it has no play in it, that's technically zero lash and then do a half a turn and leave it. Do both intake and exhaust uh, on cylinder one, turn the crank 90 degrees or a quarter turn, which would put the next cylinder in firing order. Do that one and roll till you hit all of them. So basically it's going to take two full rotations of the crank to hit all eight cylinders. That's the way I'm going to do it and start it up when I'm ready to and see how it sounds. That seems like it's pretty a good foolproof method. method especially since I had this thing completely taken apart. So I don't have the option to start it up. Well, cause I have to set these at something, right? So that's a good place to start and set it. I think I want to have no issues there and that's where we're going to leave it. But I always have the option to adjust them hot and running like a lot of people recommend as well. I can always do that later, but we'll do this way because I need to start somewhere. So let's start there. So I'll kind of get this thing set up top dead center and then we'll go from there. Okay, I got a little bit of stuff done before recording, just so I wasn't wasting you know, time and for this pointless stuff that you guys don't want to see anyway. What we're going to do is turn this motor over by the crank bolt uh, clockwise until I hit top dead center on number one cylinder, compression stroke. And what I did to make that a little bit easier is I took off the fan assembly just so I can get down to that bolt easier. And how I'm going to determine top dead center is uh, on the compression stroke is to turn this thing over, stick my finger in the spark plug hole, and when it blows my finger out, that's obviously the compression stroke. I'll put a screwdriver in this as well. I'll put a screwdriver into through the spark plug hole. That way it's kind of sitting on top of the piston and continue cranking it. And what you'll wait is what we'll do is we'll watch the uh, screwdriver come up and once it hits its top is the top spot your top dead center and you'll know that by because it'll come up and then it'll start shooting back down so then you just want to be able to put that at the top the highest range of the piston stroke hope that makes sense it seems like for some reason I had a hard time getting that out so let's do that all right I'm trying to get you guys a good shot here okay there's cylinder one. Now what I'll do is rotate this around here, stick my finger in the hole. I just kind of plug it up and then rotate the crank. There it is. So, now what we'll do, is take the spark plug in, or the spark plug. There we are. And what we'll do is we'll wind these suckers down now. Now we have a while to go. Basically, see how that's, let me make sure the camera's on that. See you have all that wiggle room there? You basically wanna take all that out. So crank this sucker down. Just 
Still got some slack here. Still some slack. Now, I can't even move that between my fingers. So I'll back this off just a little bit. And as you can see, I haven't done this a lot. So I'm just kind of going through my head and showing you exactly what I'm going to be doing or what I would do or how I'm doing it. Because I'm by no means an expert. So here you have just a little bit of movement still. I could twist it to my fingers. So got a little bit of movement. Now there. Now here. So I really, I have a wiggle room here, right? See, I can wiggle it through my fingers, spin it, but I don't really have much up and down, just a little bit. So we're gonna crank it just another turn, or just a little bit more. Now I can't, and that's what you're looking for. That's zero lash, that's tight. Once you're there, you do a half a turn to tighten it down. So you just wanna, I'm basically straight up and down on it, right? So I just wanna go, and I have to watch on here because I have my apron skirt here I'm gonna hit, my shock tower. So I have to go sideways like this. And since I'm kinda straight on at it, I wanna go clear over. So, half a turn, and done. So basically, I'm gonna do the rest of them this way. Get the other one done. And just an FYI, something to verify. Make sure your push rod is in the center of your lifter. Make sure it's in the center of your upper rocker as well. Because obviously if it's not, it can give you an off reading if it's not centered where it needs to be. Oh, I just went a little bit too far, that guy. Too much talking and not enough paying attention. So I got a lot of movement here. Like basically none. It's all kind of by the feel. I mean, I, I want it, to me, you want to feel drag. It's like right there, I'm feeling some drag, right? So to me, that's there. And then we're gonna go half turn. And boom. So that set up, these are there. Now, what you want to do next is rotate the crank 90 degrees and you can kind of easily find it by doing the same thing as in put your wrench you know straight up and down and you want to do 90 degrees or a quarter of a turn right so in a 289 and I think a 302 are the same firing order so you're gonna go one, five, four, two, six, three, seven, eight. So one, two, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your next one you wanna to go to is number five, which is going to be the first one on the right hand side or driver's side. I'm looking at it as the right hand side, but it's a driver's side. And then you would go to four. Then you'll go to two, six, three, seven, eight. And do them all like that. It'll take you two complete rotations of the crank. Because you gotta think, you have one for the first four, since it's a quarter turn, and another full turn for the second four.
Okay, all the valves have been adjusted. Everything is looking good. I just did number eight, which is actually the last cylinder. And the last one in the firing order there. So what you can do is because this last quarter turn should bring your number one back to top dead center. And that's where we're going to leave it because I got to put the distributor in later. So since we're already here doing it, I'll just go to put one in top dead center. That way from here on out, I know I'm there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. We're going to leave this one here uh, with the valves adjusted. That's all done. Kind of give you a little bit of an explanation how to do it. Uh, as I mentioned, I'll give you just a fair warning. That's actually the first time that I've ever done it other than a bunch of research. So I'm pretty confident everything turned out good. I don't think we're having any issues, but if I do, we'll jump back into it. We'll have to adjust them hot maybe, but I don't think we'll have to do that. But just give you a fair warning. I'm not a professional, but that's kind of the point of these videos is to show that you don't have to be professional. You don't have to know what you're doing per se. You just got to do good research bunch of YouTube videos, bunch of Googling. You can figure this stuff out. It doesn't take a rocket science scientist to do this. But obviously it does to talk, so for some reason I can't talk uh, today. But anywho, that's done. Uh, the next video is going to be installing the intake and then just kind of buttoning up like valve covers, uh, you know, all the spark plug wires, putting a distributor in. I mean, I got a bunch of little stuff to do, but nothing uh, too much. Nothing too uh, too crazy. So we'll go over some more stuff next video, but I'm going to leave this one here. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this channel, hit the like button. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. We'll have more of this coming up. Uh, this is kind of going to take us two or three more videos, I think, till we get to start it up. Uh, but I'm anxious to start it and get it timed and do all that. So just kind of hang in there. And if you like, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe and like the video. See you guys.